Yeah, so an early casualty would really throw them off. And actually, Magic, he was the blunt object. That's going to be a nice Molotov down. Didn't get to use it. Brokey with the first. They're hitting B. Cold has got a very powerful position here. It's very hard to knock him off his perch. They plan to run boost, maybe. That would be interesting. Oh, wasn't anticipating the close hold. And now in they go. Cold, undeterred, bides his time. One shot will do it to seal the deal for this round. He's won. So does Ray. Neither have found it yet. Finally, Cold will break his silence. And it should be the end for Dupree. Yeah, doesn't look like Dupree can do much more. He does get one single kill, but only two fan in total. That's still the opening kill here for Australis, and they should surely slow things down. Sure, Nico's dead, but he's taken two members down to 30, and Brokey wins the duel. That's a crucial victory. Zipex going down. He was full health, so actually... Two players still with scalp bullets locked within them. Cold Derek goes for a very aggressive push. Trying to contest that bomb before it gets across. Rain knows they're low. You can see those wild bullets through the smoke, but they haven't connected. Three versus two, and Magis and Dupree are low. We are going to see a smoke being deployed by device, but before he'll try and get the bomb down. Takes it out for now, trying to bait the CTs in. A decent wallbang attempt, I have to say. Device takes a few bullets from all off my step, but still the C4 will be planted. Magis low, but it uh, will be device to pretty much confirm this round now. All of my step probably can't even consider this one. Back there on the 7th of April. It was a uh, overtime game on Nuke, unsurprisingly, where Astralis took map number one, which was... In this fight, it's nerve-wracking. How is he so willing, so able? And he's actually for caught Dupree on the edge of the smoke. Great shot. Olof bides his time on the edge of the smoke. Anyone does peek together, though. They're so coordinated, but there's enough of a gap. He gets both spread out just a little too wide, and the trade wasn't possible. Great stuff from Olof Meister there. Just toying with the edge of the smoke. Has left them in a five versus two. He's in a great spot here. Glaive not going to check out a car. Guaranteed frag. And now Device, we've seen him in the pit for a while now. Hasn't been able to find a kill. He is going to make his way back towards spawn. So they are going to hunt him. You can see four players what? entering the long doors right now. He does go down. It's a big round for FaZe there. And Nico getting a great shot towards the... Cornered and about to meet the wrath of Astralis. Here they come. Molotov's been thrown out. It's looking fantastic for the Ooh. Danes. But here comes a big spray down. Cold Zera trying to find a second before he goes down. But... It's in vain for now. It's going to be Zipex planting the bomb, and he does so successfully. Three versus two now. Nico and Olaf Meister. With the door, yeah, that's a different right, yes. approach. We'd Jumping be, underhand. We're doing the underhand. It landed at car slash bricks every time. Yeah, but like, it's, it does make retaking B less of an issue. You smoke that. Z very entertaining counter strike there. You can see how reactive Astralis are being, feeling out every maneuver. Ten We've got 10 seconds remaining here. Trying to get the bomb down from Shaw. This is beautiful stuff. And there will be a couple oh, of kills brought okay. back. Dupree with a backstab from Hell there. That's the B bomb site. His teammate Glaive is isolated, oh but he's gosh. rising to the occasion here. Glaive can back up for this moment only. Olaf Meister knows it, takes care of him, but takes a lot of damage on route. One versus one. Glaive knows he's got a huge advantage here at Olaf Meister. Trying to cheese it out. Get a long range distance here, but it will be Glaive just hitting that one bullet required as he'll pull the round back. Led them to success in the end, and here we go, Desert Eagle. Oh, it's no so one's watching long, and there's a couple of kills potentially. Oh, he gets both of them in the end, thanks to Rain. Broke, he's caught one in the trade, and tagged Cold Zera. He's hit one through the smoke, they're gonna win this. They only had pistols. It's all onto device, that molly does look fantastic. It should force Cold into the fight, and he hits the shot regardless. FaZe Clan, they're always good for a couple of them. Armored Deagles, and a victory. There'll be a player towards the pit. That's going to be Rain. And again, oh, oh, Astralis being caught out. They're not super aware of these positions. And a Rain doesn't nail the shot. He'll deploy the flashbang and try and get himself out. But it will be the opening kill with Zipex. Landing on their feet now. Oh, three with a double kill towards middle. That's massive. That Device has got no armor on his AK. Oh, doesn't I think see it was it. against G2. Yeah, that's right. <gasps> okay, Device nearly running out of bullets. We'll find it just before and oh, Nico him. actually... Oh, no, it's the way around. Let's okay. go down. It was the scout in the end. Sure. Magisk will grab himself that AWP. So they're just exchanging spotless rounds. It's a different look. Mernt, and while well, Brokey with the AWP, he's not going to get off the mark right there. He'll be dropped. Need to be off and on up. And oh, they bumped each other. They're going to punish so hard here. Glaive responsible for Rain to push through, and he does manage to make some space. Cold Terra has defended B and Rain while blind. He walks into the flames. It may not matter. Cold Terra, he says, get the hell out of my sight. 2v1. Well, Zipex, we know he's capable of winning these, but for now, he's in the two versus one. Olaf Meister trying to encroach his position from T-Spawn. He will be taken down here. He's been 
Al Flangtel of Meister picks up a freebie and it will be 7-7. I mean, we saw the tweet from Nico. Admittedly, I think they live together, so I'm not sure, sure. if this was coming from Nico's fingertips, but he did say Cold is the best teammate ever. Flav has found Rain and now Olof immediately oh. equalized. He can even get a second here, maybe even a third. Flav on the smoke, he's done it. The wow. Swede sends them packing. That's huge. Olof Meister, another player's been struggling on the road to Rio, but that's a real world-class play there. Very confident spray down, leads into a four versus two on a massive round as well. This is to take eight rounds on a CT set of dust too. Me too. That's yeah. real people, real money, people for money for fake stickers. Yeah. Incredible. Eight seven is the score on the half. The first map of our final series, folks. Don't go anywhere. No diffuse gear as things currently stand as they'll coordinate their players. Now they're going Ooh. for it and they get the first kill. Waves holding it though. And he's missed his shots. Oh, Rain no. goes down. Dupree with another huge impact. Nico can't do enough. And a just successful defuse will come on in. Glaive, just one single flashbang. Zipex has one as well. If they can get this goose frag, it's broken for the info. He only had the Glock. Hoping that Deagles could have done more, but Device's double has really s slowed things down. Yeah, they really have to trade at least one kill here to stand a chance, but there it is. Bomb does go down, and probably their chances are getting a plant as well. But they've already got the plant and the pistol, so they'll still be able to buy regardless. This would have been a bonus uh, of some sorts, but uh, just looking for that extra kill now. Device on for the ace. Just to know that, not really that exciting against no armor, but uh, there we have it. It will be 9-8. to eight. Astralis taking the lead now, as that cause any damage going forward. It's going to be too free, rotating over towards B, and that's exactly where phase are ending up here. Oh, Zera. Great shot towards the double doors. Completely blind as well, it seems. And there back we go. and forth we go. It's an absolute brawl. Good flash from Aegis. And it could get him one more frag, but the Flames will find him first. Three versus two. Still possible for Astralis here, but they're stuck in towards CT spawn. Oh. And Rain wants to keep them there. They've got nades. They've got Rain. It's all set up. He has been spotted, so might be able to take one down with him, but Device won't be surviving this one. One. And done. Get one of these kills. It, it shouldn't be more than just a comedic moment. Give it to us. Ah! <laughs> it certainly was, Dad. you got to admit, that was funny. Yeah, well, it's like he's... Uh, oh, he's... no! He oh, so is that. What? It's a uh, <laughs> series of blunders here. We're going to keep going. We've got anything left in the tank? Oh, oh no! no! We have no! no! Magis has made the impossible happen here, and it works out. The eco victory, the Zeus kill, the team kill from Brokey. <laughs> That's 200 HP as well. We'll see them actually make their way out towards them. And Nico has invested in that AK. They've actually got another rifle there as well. Zipex goes down, and Dupree with that secondary orb. He's under a lot of pressure here. Nico. He'll get the trade, and actually, he's got a man advantage now. I thought they were going to win this round. Blake can't do anything. He's been paid into a corner. Four versus two. Device watching the cross. They've got no smoke. That is one advantage they have here. Bomb going down a crossover. Yeah, what do you do to get the Orper off the line? Olaf had a great idea, but Device too quick. This is a problem now. Because... Brokey could drop. Yeah, but he's only got the Glock, right? So oh, it won't yeah. do too much. Oh, that, that works. That really works. That's suddenly going to enable the bomb to be thrown across. In fact, Brokey, that's smart, using the peon that is Brokey, but they have got a Molotov. Will that bomb be able to go down? It could very oh! well be, but Nico hits the shot from winning it once. Now FaZe hit them back with a taste of their own medicine. Will half Nico's functional health ball. And they want to try and pivot straight into Dupree. Not a Zeus this oh, time. He's next. got an M4. And the bomb's been delivered to the other side. Brokey takes matters into his own hands, but doesn't hit the shots. In this one, it's a bit of a yeah. shambles. Really enjoyed that from Dupree. Yeah, it's very scary. Device will collect it. 11-11, keeping things close. And I'm not, I'm not surprised. As they throw in their flashbacks. Wow, Rain's got straight down. They're playing on splitting through middle. However, Dupree gets enough time and enough wow. space to actually get the first frag. Device picks up Nico on the lurk. And now they try and pincer her in. If they can get into this site, there's still a chance. They need yeah. these frags now, though. And already Dupree's caught another. I was going to say, there was still a pretty decent chance there. Those two players could get a kill or two. Uh, but now just Brokey looking to do forward financial damage. Every kill he does get might deny an AK-47. Four-man setup towards the B-Tunnel as well. Face don't have anything to speak of of the map. Yeah, that, I think that death's taken them by surprise. I mean, oh. you really weren't accounting for it. Look at the damage. They're oh. inflicting. Oh, they could have killed him. And they will kill one. Nico goes down to the device orb, and he's already bopping out of there, strafing back to support long. That's the best play they've got. Big nade again. <laughs> Big spray down coming in. The double wombo combo from Dupree and Glaive. He sighed. He had a scout, though. A bit of an upgraded Ooh. one for the Danish sniper. If Megas goes down there, there. Oh, my God. Great shot. Device is having a mad one. And Rain's dead. That's Magisk. He's locked them in now. They are absolutely cream cracker here, boys. <laughs> they are chocolate bourbon. <laughs> 
Rich T, Hobnob. What I'm trying to say is, it's over. Two left, one on the edge of the smoke. It will be Olaf Meister giving him the easiest and slowest peak. Nice work from Brokey, but only with a Galil. He's presented three to keep FaZe's chances here on Dust 2. Dupree will... Ooh, I think he got spotted. Brokey does peek in and hits a great shot. Now upgrading. Maybe there's a chance for Brokey. What a clutch player he is. He's disappearing to B. He anticipates the long. Can he get on out of cover fast? He's got him if he actually goes now. He's looking towards the window. Oh, he has no idea. Maybe just might have it now. He's assuming he's coming from tunnels at this stage. Oh, he seems to... Oh, did he catch him? Oh, I think he saw him. I thought it was the backpack for sure. He's done it. Brokey. Yeah, wins. What a clutch king. The Latvian, Latvikan. 1v4 keeps phase in it. On the corner there, and Nico, not far behind him. Oh, they're already going very wide. Olaf takes the first, but Glaive, sensational device as well. The Bob's three down, of them yeah. all falling in very quick succession. A tough duel for Nico as the flames pop and cold. He's so late. He's been trying to contain Long this whole time, and as his teammates have fallen, he just jumps straight into the first. What a shot. The device holds, and it's Astralis 16. They take it. Phases map pick. Dust 2. It starts with an Astralis victory. No one's watching, so if he gets this timing right, it was just a second shy. Maybe a chance still, but no, they'll just pivot, turn around and collect. And oh my god, if they get rain, they could just go A. Phew, okay, so he'll escape. His death could have changed everything, but he lives on, and they turn around. Rain will go towards second middle here, and uh, he could be in a lot of trouble. He'll find the first, but presumably will be taken down by Magisk and Glaive. He'll chime in with the third. Four versus two, and it's going to be Nico Olofmeister, rotating him from the library side. Flashbang lands at his front door. They've spotted him, but no damage inflicted. Bombs go down. Folds, that's that's the game yeah. of Counter-Strike. And, and I'm, I'm totally cool with it in the situations like this. The problems arise when it's 14-14. I think it's gone out of meta, if you ask me. It's good for the retakes of the bomb side when they, the bomb's already down, I think. But these sort of rounds, sure, Nick can get a kill or two, but I feel like Australis will be aware of it. Right, so uh, you can see, actually, with what they've done here, is they hope that Rain will get enough contact. Like, he has to get one. Now they can all look at boost at the same time. Free fire does come in. There's only a tag. Nico will get one before he falls. But into the site, nonetheless, no, that's well, the bomb. bomb. Zipex does go down, a dink does nothing through the wall. And this could be enough for Zera, to be honest with you, but great positioning from Device there. Low HP as well, down at 12, and he gives him a three on two. Broke with the orb, Olof Meister with a full array of utility. They can go for this, but they're both coming from CT spawn, and yeah, they've already cancelled. So it's not the end of the world, as the buy will come on through for Astralis, no worries. These saved weapons on the board of Brokey and Olaf, they might need to be a little bit more assertive at the start of the round. It could be a chance for them to get a crucial frag to stop this A push back turn. Great timing, Cold finds it 4v3. So the orb's down, but the AK is still up. All of my step patrolling the quad side. It made it to the bomb. He's being incredibly careful, and he's not. Where's the trade? Device needs to get it, but it's going to be all of my holding incredibly strong here. Looking good for the first round. Yeah, he's done everything he needed to. That was the only really very difficult. If he could find rain first, he does so, but took a little too long about it. That's the worst feeling when if you just get that first clean, you knew you'd have had a chance. Yeah. Well, it's uh, down to Nika now. They're trying to deny this. Plants and doesn't do any significant damage. The bomb does go down. He does get a dink through the coffins there. Magus trying to re-coordinate. Over towards Emo now. Brokey will be there. They've got no utility on the Astralis side. Should be a very convincing phase finish. Should. Nico has to hit this shot first. And the off angle, it's worked so well for Zipex. They just assumed it was clear. Dinked. Surviving. Brokey hits the shot. All off into the site. Onto Device. He's got the lineup. Look at that. It's perfect for the defuse. He doesn't have to move. And now they know exactly where he is. Brokey can hold the defuse. Spray finds one. He assumes that was the defuser. And it will be FaZe securing their second. Just keeping this competitive, keeping this game interesting. Nades have been exchanged in Bananas. We can see with a minute 25 left on the clock, both teams, their utility is already being milked on out. This push could be everything. Wow, they, sat, they have Cold behind him. And he might get this one as well. They're trading blows. Yeah, very equal right now. They have no flashbang to get him off his perch here. 18 seconds remain in two oh. Perfectly done. Now just one player remains. It's going to be Olaf Meister, and they seem to know he's towards B. Does he swing in? Well, it'll be the orb to challenge, and Dupree trying to close things out here. Look at that fifth round on the board. That's a lot of information for Astralis. Look at their setup right now. They're trying to pull him apart as well. Just glad making foot steps so he can come out and swing. Oh. Perfect. It is. It's very well coordinated. Rain, Scarf, bringing he actually catches a bullet. 
Down to just one HP. What could you possibly do with one HP when Dupree is clearing his corners as carefully as that? Yeah, very efficient stuff. But now both players towards the banana area. They managed to get a kill on. Maybe That's a bit orb more, gone. but the orb is gone, Chad. You're dead on there, Glaive. He'll be taking that at the end of the round for now. Use it as bait. Cold. Surely they lost it's it It's a now. different game now. It's hide and seek, and he's been spotted. Oh. Getting around the corner. Caught by Dupree. Four kills in that round. And Dupree is still playing fantastic. But they've got a control. The bomb's on its way up middle. There's no one that can catch them. Maybe there is something to be said. I'm not sure. This looks way too good. There's no CT presence towards A whatsoever. This is similar to Dust 2 B site. If you have this sort of control, it's not even worth going for, in my opinion. We'll see whether they want to challenge this. And Glaive, he's out to his feet, right? And there's a double kill. He tucks them in, puts them to bed. And we are going to have Brokey and Rain, presumably just saving at this point. The M4, as Chad mentioned, will have maximum loss bonus here. And there it is. Four survive for Astralis. Their money pretty much. Two of them holding this. Ooh. This is could, really could be set up for success. Yeah, wow, wow, we both of them stepping into the crossfire, and the stack in apps has paid off for Phase Clan. Two versus five. The double stack towards the end of the apartments. Actually, uh, in case Nico heard that from Spawn, oh. Oh, definitely heard that. Oh, Nico, he's actually it's gone worse for him than he imagined. And with rain being so low, if anyone could do it, Magis could just pre-fire this corner. They're not fearing him. They won't. They oh, will. Okay. Gets the frag and now into the site. A two versus two. No Devices way. hit the shot onto Cold. They're both rotating it, tating in through CT. And he's taken another aggressive angle. What? He catches Brokey on the anti-flash. Slaps his bottom. And now it's all onto Olof to pick up the pieces. This is just dissolved in front of them. Olof in the flames. He's burning a lot of damage done. He actually took significant damage to the flames there. Got stuck on the tree. Well, what can he do here? The smoke and AT available to him with the bomb only halfway gone. Olaf Meister can still win this. The mage is channeling towards spawn. It'll be the nade towards Emo. Gives him the position. But oh, Olaf Meister wow. hits the what? shot. That was a two versus five. Luckily, FaZe will restabilize. Olaf Meister getting three kills. Comes right down to the wire. It cost him a lot. Yeah, boost to watch Emo and any of that naughty smoke play. Hold. Doesn't spot anyone in his first jiggle, but Nico's just pushed all of them. He gets two. Is that going to be enough, though? It's one minute remaining here. Astralis with their backs to the wall. They've got no further grenades. Oh, look at Device, though. Risk overwhelmed. Device has been working on this flank for a while, but Brokey's so ready for it, he misses his shot. Olaf closing the gap. Device on for his fourth. A one versus two clutch from the Danish Orpa, but the wall bank from Olaf does significant damage. Fakes it. Device going to call the bluff. He's pushing oh. in and he hits another spectacular <laughs> headshot. It's 10 to 5. Device has come to play today. Device about to be tested and with a USP, he just stands and delivers. He's holding oh, he's down that one. They all jump past him and the last will be Cold Zero. This time he finishes the job. Magisk got three to deal with. Hits the first shot very cleanly, but Rain does the same. Bomb will be planted. Two unarmored CTs with nades for the retake. Maybe Glaive's got something in store for Pit. Cold Zera, can you catch? Nate does land on rain from one side. It's going to be very difficult to get back in. Yeah, it doesn't look possible. Glaive and Zipex in the three versus two. They've got a smoke for the Pit, though. That will nullify oh. Cold Zera. Good grenade. Lands at his front door. Takes another 46. Uh, but still looking very difficult as the smoke comes in. It could be a good chance then, but Brokey should guarantee it now. Smoke will provide a bit of a cover for them as well. Zipex jumping up towards the site. Trying to pick up anyone he can. That's towards the pick. Cold Zero will take him down. And indeed, they love their reputation of being an 5-7 waiting for them. And it looks pretty good for the first. It certainly does. Nico on to Dupree. Starting their commitment. Cold's already on the site. And this Deagle's working. God, device. He does half health to Brokey as well. But Brokey with the frag. Now the bomb still needs to be planted. That's Nico's responsibility. And he's going to start... Any more where that came from? Would have been perfect. Glaive does find the first and the second as well. They've got time and they'll take the defuse. Astralis win the second round. I thought there was no way back in. The cool. Still, it does suggest Astralis prepared. And now Zipex is pushed down. Banana is bore fruit. Olaf does go down. And look at the backs exposed. Magis can't believe his luck. It was only Brokey, though. Still the rifle for Rain. Nico's recovered a Galil. And oh, caught out. Jumping knife out. That's the end of Rain. Oh, he's flashed himself a little bit there as well. But Nico can grab that bomb. It's in the smoke right now, but. And now back to attacking A. And unfortunately, with no he armor. Can't win. Yeah, the smoke's not really going to help him out. Yeah, 10 seconds. He's done four. That's 12 6. No bomb planted, boys. You know what that means. And Astralis.
look like they're in impeccable form right now. Can they fend off a full B execution with five terrorists making their way through? Look at the position from Zipex. They don't even check it. No one was expecting that. The Molotov's doing so much damage. They're really all is. burning alive. Oh, God, the bullets were just the finishing touch. Everything else was done by that nade. And by Zipex's position, if he hits any of them... Ooh. Wow. Great shot from Nico. He's Jesus. definitely turned on, but it was not going to be... End up middle. There's... Actually got five players there and devices that he's destined to get one of them while Blind, of course, finds Olaf Meister. This is for map and series point. Rain will pull one back. That's with a Galil, but the big spray down's coming through. A lot of damage output there from the AK and Dupree. He's ready to mow these players down here to get this kill for oh. done. And Nico will leave Broke here in the three versus one. Already got low HP. He's got absolutely no chance here. Oh, Dupree even crossing back with that high flash. He's got nades. It will keep Brokey. Alive, but with a sound cue and a great shot and another Brokey, you've done so many clutches. I need to stop writing you out of these rounds. He's so low. Do exactly that, but you want to stay closer to the bomb site that you were last at. You can hear where the plant is, and you can even just get the headshot like that. Brokey tries his best, but it's all in vain. All of the hot oil boiled and ready to go. In. And here comes the first. Nico goes down and he drops straight off. The boosts are paying off. Rain flow. It looks like Australia are off to the finals. They got four kills in four seconds. And Cold's wondering where on earth his teammates have gone. Well, that's going to be it. Surely Cold Zero with nothing left to do. Five kills ahead of him. Woman on the clock. There's surely nothing to be said. This should do it. And Device, he'll confirm the spot in the final here for Astralis. Sending Face down to the lower bracket in a convincing 2-0 fashion.